Hey guys, Jean-Claude, and we just finished our patron openings. Let's see what deck we have in store for myself. Uh, three of four, last for Brobnar, we had a great last video where Izmir actually won two decks. Very cool. All right, today's... <laughs> uh, today's deck is a Red Archon. Brobnar's the first house. Sorion's the second house, and the last house is Star Alliance. Band Blade the Galvanic Faculty Rogue. It's a big, wide Archon. Very demonish with those huge horns. Maybe some horns down below as well. Or you could say it's kind of cute. It does have big horns, but it's kind of goofy looking. Those are its feet. It's walking. Has silly hands. All right, let's see how Brobnar treats us today. Start off with Star Alliance, it's Walls Blaster, it's an upgrade, Amber Dive, you play it. This creature gains Fight Reap, you may deal 2 damage to a creature or attach it to Engineer Walls. After you attach it to Walls, stun a creature for each upgrade on Chief Engineer Walls. Great if we get a lot of upgrades in here. Oh, wait a minute. This is my first encounter suit deck. Upgrade after an action is played, but before it resolves, ward this creature. Okay. This will be really fun to put on that Walls. Another upgrade, Stunner. Amber Dive, you play it. This creature gains Fight Reap, you may stun a creature. Sensor Chief Garcia, 3 power, play, fight, reap. Keys cost plus 2 amber during your opponent's next turn. Psy Officer Quint can, 2 power, elusive. After a player chooses an active house, which matches no cards in play, steal an amber. Red alert, if there are more enemy creatures than friendly creatures, deal damage to each enemy creature equal to the difference. Light of the Archons, it's an upgrade, amber W play. This creature gets plus 1 power and plus 1 armor for each upgrade attached to it. Okay, this is looking kind of interesting so far. This is the 4th upgrade. Which means that if we can get all these out, that's four power, four armor on any one of these creatures. So far, we only have two, Garcia and Quincan. But what's really interesting is we know for sure Walls is in here because we have his blaster right down here. So come on, give me multiple Walls so we can bounce it back and forth with these or something. Stun a bunch of creatures. Oh, a second Light of the Archons. Okay, uh, this is cool, but we need to see some more creatures. <laughs> Okay, three Light of the Archons. This is a really cool card, but uh, man, how many Star Alliance cards could we have left? Please finish it out with creatures. Oh, this is a great one. Com Officer Kirby, three power, play, fight, reap. You may play a non-Star Alliance artifact, upgrade, or action card this turn. That's a great target for all these upgrades. Another one. This is what, like three creatures and how many upgrades? Three, six, seven upgrades. Wow. Cloaking Dongle, Amber whenever you play it, this creature and each of its neighbors gains Elusive. And there's that Chief Engineer Walls we are looking for, 2 power Elusive, Play, Fight, Reap. You may return an upgrade or robot card from your discard pile to your hand. With all these upgrades, this card is insane in here. Now we're on to Sorion, it's Tertiate, Amber whenever you play it. Destroy one third of all enemy creatures and one third of all friendly creatures, rounding up each time. Interesting card. Grim Locust Ducks, 11 power, 2 armor, Taunt, Play, Exalt it twice. Stomp, Amber whenever you play it, deal 5 damage to a creature. If this damage destroys that creature, exalt a friendly creature. Library of Polyosaurus, it's an artifact. Action, move an amber from a friendly creature to your pool. Gargantodon, 16 power, enters play stunned, only deals 4 damage when fighting. Each amber that would be stolen is captured by a creature controlled by the active player instead. Okay, pretty good because we haven't seen any steel in here, and check this out. Wow, tribute! Amber whenever you play it, the most powerful friendly creature captures 2 amber. You may exalt that creature to repeat the preceding effect. Come on, give us some Imperial Scudums. Oh, a second one, what? This is a really, really weird looking tech so far. The Dux is exalting itself. We're putting a lot of amber on our creatures, a lot of upgrades on our creatures. This could be a very interesting deck. Thero Centurion, six power, one armor. Play, fight, capture an amber. The Golden Spiral, it's an artifact. Action, exalt a friendly creature, ready and use that creature. Senator Shrix, four power, one armor. You may spend amber on it as if it were in your pool. Play, reap, you may exalt it. Chanta Hubris. Amber Devi play it. Move one amber from a creature to another creature. I'm kind of disappointed to see this card. It's an okay card, but this isn't something you're looking for in a deck ever. Oh, Axiom of Grisk, though. Water creature. Destroy each creature with no amber on it. Gain two chains. That is looking very solid with that Sorion package. 
Now we're on to, oh, I forgot Brobnar was in here. I got so excited about those first two houses that I completely forgot we had the beast that is Brobnar. Power of Fire. Sacrifice a friendly creature. If you do, each player loses amber equal to half that creature's power. Rounding down the loss, gain one chain. Hold up. Wait a minute. This with that Gargantodon can make our opponent lose eight amber. That's kind of insane to think about. Oh, and of course, little Rapscal. Two power elusive. Creatures must fight when used, if able. Warriors refrain. Amber W plate. Stun each creature with power three or lower. Tremor. Stun a creature at each of its neighbors. This is just a typical Brobnar. Shorty. Four power. Assault four. Reap. Enrage Shorty. Iron Staff. It's an artifact. Amber W plate. Action. Enrage creature. Give that creature a plus one power counter. Grok. Five power. Fight. Your opponent loses one amber. Oh, a second Grok. Very nice. Ganger Chieftain. Five power. Play. You may ready and fight with a neighboring creature. It's pretty good. Calfine, 5 power. Before the fight, deal 2 damage to each neighbor. The creature Calfine fights. It's looking up. Oh, Berserker Slam. Amber, whenever you play it, deal 4 damage to a flank creature. If this damage destroys that creature, its controller loses an amber. And the last card has to always be terrible. It's either Volcano or Alaka. In this case, we got Volcano. Deal 4 damage to each creature. Gain 2 chains. Maybe that's what makes Brobnar so awful. The last card you always look at just so happens to be one of those two cards just about every time. And I'm not feeling either one of those. Alright, let's pull up our Amber. Okay, as expected, only 3 in Brobnar. Okay. Should be around that in Sorion's 4 maybe. Okay, 5. Not too bad. And we had a lot of upgrades, so we're going to see... Quite a bit more in Star Alliance, but the problem is you have to play some creatures first to be able to then play the upgrades. I don't want to play these upgrades on my opponent's creatures, especially with Light of the Archons. All right, so for Amber, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and okay, 14 Amber. That's about average. Let's see our Amber control and the stunning effect here. That could be interesting, really slowing down our opponents. Got an extra stun there as well. Let's see here. So we got Tribute. Uh, not really Chant. Berserker Slam is nice. Oh, two Grokes. Power of Fire, as we said, could do some pretty insane things. Could be a huge Amber Control card. A little bit surprising, actually. And okay, Quinn Can and Sensor Chief Garcia. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is pretty good, actually, better than I was expecting. Let's bring the creatures up. How do we feel about the amount of creatures in here? Star Lions had to be light. Uh, Sorions seemed okay. We had a pocket of Brobnar right there. Hmm. Okay. Will we even hit 17? 1, 5, 10. Oh, what? That was only 15? Hold on, hold on. Ooh, that is super light. Let me recount that. 5, 10, 12, 13, 14. Oh, it's 14. Oh, no. <laughs> 14 creatures in a deck that has this many upgrades. Oh, oh my gosh, that just feels awful. And it's crazy because we have something like Encounter Suit that can help keep them around a lot longer. It's got some really powerful cards. We can make some bigger creatures, but it's not going to matter too much if we can't have a big board. Now, I guess we have the Volcano in here to help be like a board wipe of sorts. But sadly, it's going to hit a lot of our creatures. Kills every single Star Alliance creature, if I'm remembering correctly. And some of our others as well, like Little Rapscal. And uh, I think there were some Sorions. We'll almost kill Shrix. Didn't we have... Let's see. Okay, no, the Sorions will survive. But oh my gosh, how many in each house did we have? Let's just kind of sort them by that. Because that's going to be very telling to see if this deck has any merit whatsoever. So there was... Four Star Alliance creatures, that's sad. There was four Sorion creatures. Oh, super sad face. And three, four, five, six in Brobnar. Man, Brobnar somehow ends up taking the cake as best house in this deck, which is absolutely crazy to think about because of how strong the deck was looking at from the get-go. Wow, wow, wow. All of these cards are just automatically a little bit less valuable 
because we can't really control our opponent's board. I mean, we have little cool ways to do it. I said we got the stun effects, we got the volcanoes, we got tremor to help stun as well. Tertiate, I really hate to lose one of our creatures, kind of sad. Uh, stops controlling the board. Where is your frame? Unfortunately, our low creature count. I'm gonna say that probably like at least six of these were three or less, and that's a problem. Wow. Uh, Iron Staff pumping them isn't gonna matter too much. Our opponent could just take care of it. Axiom of Grisk looks that much worse now. Ooh, man, you know what? This is sad. We're not even gonna get into all the strategies. I can't wait for Mass Mutations to come out. Almost anything I can say about this deck, we've heard before. But when Mass Mutations comes out, trust me, we're gonna spend a lot of extra time discussing cards, how good they are, just in general or in combination with some of the cards we have in the decks. This deck being my first encounter suit deck, I really hate to give it such a bad score, but guys, this is gonna be a D minus. The only reason it didn't hit the F category is because we could actually do some pretty big amber control, and there's gonna be times where the deck does kind of just all click together thanks to those upgrades, but I'm not expecting it too often. All right, guys, well, thank you very much for watching my videos, and I'll see you next time.